Welcome back guys, Fearless Dojo here, and I did a little searching around. I found her, she is in the manor. Let's see what she has to say, shall we? Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child, born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual. Something that can never be accepted. Not by men. Nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. It's I bull. know that you have done so much for me. But I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me. Please. I thought that I feared nothing. But this... Free me from this accursed frame. Ugh. She wants me to kill her. I can give her the tonic of forgetfulness. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I'll just give her the tonic. Time to drink this then. Yes, of course. You always were very kind. <sighs> How delightfully sweet. And yet. If you follow this, it cannot come. Thank you for allowing me this. I will never be a good mother. My heart is too frail. Our Lord must have known this all along. <laughs> My meekness is all too clear. Sweet Zarias, have I earned your scorn? Sweet Zarias. I wonder if she's back in her room now, or if she's just gone forever. Probably gone forever. Okay. So we got a couple of letters. Letter... Uh, Night Idol. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted. As the final request, the letter is vivid red. Juno Hoslo, Knight of the Blood. You can be found in the mountaintops of the Giants. We haven't gone there yet. Vargram the Raging Wolf and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm for Bernal. Uh, Patches have any? Is he selling any keys? I think I'm getting out of keys. Ah, hello. What impeccable timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on. Break a leg then. <laughs> Hello again. Welcome. He, I, I bought him. Cheers for that. 
Patches wants me to kill... Horned Tragoth. Tragoth. Ah, these guys are far out there. You can be found in the ruined strewn precipice. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Both making me found in the royal capital of Wendell. Out on tops of the giants. Oh, that's okay. Okay, red marks all over the place. What is. I don't know what one of those is. Tragoth. Let's take out some of these red marks. Invade the Great Horn Tragoth. Dude, what was that? Oh, he's a thick boy. Hey, you don't get staggered, do you? Jumped it. See you later, buddy. Heavy stuff. Great horn Tragos helm adorned with a bull, gold bull goat motif provides high poise. Oh, it does. Six points. Tragoth is a famed knight of assistance. Countless tarnished facing adversity in the lands between have survived thanks only to the great horn one's aid. I'll wear that. I'll have his stuff. <laughs> That's. It's heavy. Great Horn Tragos armor covers its wearer with a pair of giant horns providing staunch poise. Jeez, this stuff does give you a lot of poise. Tragoth is a famed knight of assistance, countless times. Okay. Can I wear any of this stuff? Uh uh. I'd love to. I bet it looks awesome. Oh boy, do I want to be wearing this stuff. What's my poise at? One hundo. <laughs> so what do I need to get? What do I do? Just put... Oh, I won't let you do that. Gotcha. Even at 108. Still heavy load.
My poise is at 66. Which is probably higher than it was before. Oh, six points higher. I'm all about the poise. All right. Let's go and fight these guys. They're in the first, they're members of the first round table, so I imagine they're somewhere in here. Fifty thousand runes. Might be able to level up after these guys. Looks like they're right here. Do, do, do. I'm going after the caster. Ow. Ow. Holy cow, that guy hits hard. That guy's shadow magic is rough. He's easy. All right, we whooped some butt that time. Thanks for your help, dude. You and your giant weird stick thing. Raging Wolf Helm, Raging Wolf Helm, Raging Wolf Collins. Is 20 points of poise. <laughs> that is absurd. Absolutely absurd. Uh, okay, we cleared that. Now we can go back to the menor. Tell patch is what we did. Tell ball neck what we did. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest by all means. Cheers for that. Forgot something on your shopping list? No, no trouble to me. Sting. from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours by right. Darn right it is. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Right on. All of that stuff. Hello 
ago. Have you heard? I think he said his name was Dialos. Oh, Dialos is here. He's a little down in the dumps, but his hands as smooth as silk. Where's he at? Well, aren't you full of beans? No wonder you're covered in muck. Oh, my friend, it's been far too long. I have to say you caught me at a rather low point. But as you see, I've put all that behind me. Left the volcano manor, forging my own path now, making my own choices. Even a fool like me can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Well, don't. I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm on the straight and narrow. Okay. A fool I may be, but I can look after some simple jars. Do you pity me? Very weird. I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, actually. Even though good Sir Dialos has a wonderful suit of armor. He says he isn't a warrior, and since he's a coward, he won't be fighting anymore. <laughs> His smooth and silky hands feel nice when he pats us, but I wish we had a potentate big and strong like you. Dialis is smooth and silky, but I wish we had a po- Oh, so they don't like you, Dialis. Nothing ever works out for this guy. A fool I may be. Do you pity me? Is that all of it? I'll do one more reset and see if they have anything else to say. Dialysis, is but I wish we Oh, somehow I gotta get Alexander back there. That's what I'm feeling. Somehow I gotta gotta get gotta get Alexander back there. Um. Oh, we never did go talk to these guys after we beat the king. Well, you managed to return. Of course. You know what this means. The old tree has burned you. The fingers remain still, shaken by this turn of events. They are busy consulting the greater will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of moons must first pass. That's a long time. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. A cloak of ragged fur worn about the exposed body of Margaret, the fell woman. Having slaughtered countless champions during the shattering, the fell woman has become a horror to those who harbor ambitions for the earth tree or for lordship. Cool looking. Forty seven faith, forty six faith. Use Zippy to unleash mini race that call chase down foes. A dex arcane 35 dex causes blood loss. Brace then charge forward to deliver a downward diagonal slice the bloody trail of the blade. 
is followed by a burst of flame. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Heavens forbid. That is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the Erd Tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the Rune of Death too? The Rune of Death goes by two names. The other is Destined Death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the Golden Order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the Rune now would be unthinkable. The Fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed. Melina. Of one who envisions the flame and can lead you to the rune of death. Now go forth. Let the words of the f The words of the fingers. What do you got to say, old man? Uh, yeah. If you're heading to the Forge of the Flame of Ruin, in the snowy mountaintops of the Giants, you'll need to find the Grand Lift of Rold, beyond the Forbidden Region. Or go if you would. Take no heed of cardinal sin. The two fingers lost their purpose a long, long time ago. <laughs> Wonder why he says that. Okay. Oh, not this way. Um, I don't think I have. I have three sevens. In this ash. I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first hawk. In this ash, it reminds me of my first. Think not of the kindling. I shall see to that. All I ask of you is to make the journey to the snowy mountain tops of the giants, far above the clouds. I know. I'm asking you to commit a cardinal sin, but it must be done to reach the path beyond. And that is the path I wish to travel. What is your mind? I'll do what I have to do.
It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Agreed, Safe Kenneth. sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. I will remain but your guidance and shot. Very cool. Reinforced armaments to plus 25. Smithing stone made by polishing a golden gravel stone. A scale of ancient dragon lord, the hidden treasure of Fyra Missoula. And the ancient dragon lord's seat is said to lie ben beyond time. The stone highly twists, lightly twists time, allowing the creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. Not quite to that yet. Okay. What is next? Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna go do Shaded Castle. That is next. This beautiful, poisonous place. Fire is generally good against these kind of guys. We'll try fire. What is this creature? Perfume guy. That guy tried to grab me. I may have been upset if he would have succeeded. Forty-eight thousand runes. Already went that way. No way. No, we didn't. Came from this way, but I don't think we ever went all the way down. Nope. Poison bloom. Coming at you! Ha! the music uh, 
guys are just out here in the poison. I don't like it. Stone four. How'd that feel? Oh crap. These guys. Are normally much rougher than that. Domber smithing stone five. Got him. What's the purpose of coming over here? Just to see. No rot for me, please. I think stone three. Oh, you're a turd. And I can't cure it. Those will be good for poison. Stop that. Let's clear the rest of this down here first. You're kidding me. A five. All right, got what I needed. Hmm. Po 
poison, death, rot. This place is lovely. What happened to the shaded castle? Well, anyway, I got wrecked. Whatever it was. Up the ladder, I guess. I didn't want to fall down there. Oh, this isn't what I wanted. Can't use my mount. Good thing stone four. You guys are obnoxious. This castle, man. Perfumer robe. Nothing stone five. Not good. Been down here. Yes. Yes, I have. Perfume bottle, great. All right, now I wanted to go this way. Uh 
Oh, you little turd. I see an enemy. Wow, I thought he was going to be a little tougher than that. Valkyrie's prosthesis. It's a key item. Golden prosthesis once used by the one-armed Valkyrie. A masterwork of craftsmanship with practice and skill that can be used as proficiently as a real arm. When Malia Marias, Lord of the Shaded Castle, embraced this prosthesis, he claimed to he claimed to feel the presence of his personal goddess. Interesting. I don't know what that's for. Down over here, I guess. Oh, nice. Still just a little bit more to look at over here, though. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, I'm trying to... Wow. You see why everybody hates these mobs now? They don't let you play the game. I'm getting obliterated right now. Come on! You're just running around like an idiot. That was rough. I almost, almost, I almost died there. Rot grease. I like how those guys can ride their horses wherever they want. Not me. Seventy K souls. Probably level up. I want to do this. Uh, get at the forty. House Mar Marius is ruined. Just as just desserts. We're falling for that severed harpy. 
No surprise that guilty Critton took the castle and our storage sword. Storied sword, eh? Oh my goodness. Always somebody hiding. Always somebody hiding. Excuse me. What's upstairs? <laughs> What's upstairs? Fumer's Cookbook 2. Hefty bones. Let's see what you got. Not enough. Nobody's attacking around corners. I knew it. I got dangerously low right there. Out of my way. What is with all these stone statues? I'm gonna fight like Medusa here in a little bit or what? Like what's happening? I don't wanna take that yet. That's the place I was just down. Smithing stone five. Okay, another shortcut. Boss room. See what we got. Oh crap, one of these dudes? Yeah, I hate these guys. I need to heal. Got him! Mariah's Executioner's Sword. Briar Great Shield. Oh, 
Oh, we cleared the castle. What is this this weapon? Rise Executioner's Sword. 23 Arcane, 24 Strength, 14 Dex. Storage Sword of House Marias, the family of executioners who's presided over the Shaded Castle. A legendary armament. Elmer of the Briar, the bell-bearing hunter, snatched the sword from the site of his looming execution and furnished it with battle skills from his home of Eochade. Eochade's dancing blade. Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Charge the attack to increase reach and duration of the spin. Wow. That must be... Oh, that's the one-armed Valkyrie. She's in the cutscene. She's one of the shard bearers. I think we beat this place. Beat it good. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and end this episode there. Uh, pick up next time. Uh, I think we're going to go do a little more of the plateau. And then I think once we're done with that, we will then go back to that horrible Lake of Rot place and see if we're any more stronger to do some damage there. Because um, I got my butt kicked last time we were there. You enjoyed it? Leave a like. If you want to talk, leave a comment. Fearless Dojo out.